For 19 years, we've been coming uh, together in Miami for our World Conference. It's been an amazing ride. And uh, Miami's a very special place. Um, people come here to have fun, vacation, but it's also a hotbed for entrepreneurs. And for me, it's kind of like the center of the universe. You all come to visit, we have meetings, we have summits, uh, because this is kind of like, you know, the Vatican or Mecca. <laughs> Look, you're here, right? <laughs> Uh, and it's a very special city, and we have a very close friend that helps make it that way. Uh, I've known the mayor, Philip Levine, uh, ever since we came to Miami in 1996, we kind of grew up together. I have to tell you that he was an incredible entrepreneur, uh, and he made a sacrifice to make this a better place. And he really believes in what we do and what we're doing. So I'd like to introduce uh, Miami Beach's mayor, Philip, and a very good, dear friend, Mayor Philip Levine. J.R. Lauren, thank you very much for inviting me because this is a great honor to be with you. And I understand we call all of you UFOs, unfranchised owners. I, I kind of refer to myself as an unfranchised politician. Something like that. Folks, I gotta tell you, I respect so much what all of you have created and what JR and Lauren have created because you all, they represent the American dream. And that's what our country's about. So I salute all of you and thank you so much for what you're doing. You're creating jobs, you're building businesses, and everything J.R. and Lauren, you have done, really, truly, you are the spirit. You're the spirit of our country by allowing all these people and all these people to do these wonderful things. So I, I gotta tell you, I'm a, I'm a fellow entrepreneur. I started as a kid working on a cruise ship, didn't know what I wanted to do, built a company, sold a company, and then of course, uh, decided to do something crazy, ran for mayor and became mayor twice in our wonderful city. And when I get the opportunity to be a bunch of, bunch of fellow entrepreneurs like yourselves, it's a great honor to be here. So I just wanted to come out, welcome all of you to Miami and Miami Beach because we need more people like you in our country. And I thank you so much for being here. Okay. And J.R. Lauren, thank you for everything you do. Wait one second. We don't, we don't want you guys to forget Philip's face because I know you don't know it now, but I guarantee you, in about eight years, you'll see him running for the President of the United States. <laughs> Listen, it's a fact. Well, it is a fact, so pay attention. We're not necessarily of the exact same political affiliation, but he is a moderate. <laughs> no, but he's the first one we'd, we'd, we'd switch for you any day of the week. So, you know, uh, there's an old saying that you can please some of the people all the time, all the you people like some of the time, yeah, but never all the yeah, people all of the yeah. time. You have a very difficult job, and I admire you for the way you communicate with people, the way you listen, and the way you have overcome that terrible problem of not being able to please everyone. You do a great job, and I hope you do run for senator, governor, you haven't told me yet, or president. Well, right now I'm going to run off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, JR. Thank you, Lauren. We love you, and you're the best.